Okay, uh, bear with me. It's been a long time since I've done a video, so um, I'll do my best to try to get this demoed. There's my name. E my name's Edith, uh, and the date. Pull that off. This is the M1. This is the trier, so you can check your uh, roast as it's going along. This is the sheet where you put your beans in. You pull this up and then they load. There's a little light that goes. And this is your catch tray. This is the door that lifts to dump the beans. What I've also done is installed a, a pipe here that will allow you to put a dryer hose or some kind of connection to vent out. Here is the vent and I will include this hose. It just goes on by one of this, this connection, but this hose vents out through my laundry room. And I just put it over there, over on top of it. So any smoke. Also do suggest, there's only a single um, fan right here. I suggest that in order to cool your beans off quickly, to get one of these. This is a, a cooler. You just dump your beans in there and it cools them off quickly because the sooner you get your beans cooled off, the better. All right, here is your uh, artisan. I'll open it up. I've already loaded the file for my computer's a little old, so it goes a little slow. This is the artisan and I've already loaded the file for the M1, all right? All the settings are there. It will track it, your time, your temperatures, your heat settings. So I will uh, go ahead and hit on to connect. Well, let me double check the configurations because every computer is different. Configuration is important that you hit the right port. This should already be set up to the correct port, this file. So if I hit start, it's connected by Bluetooth. You could see there's a temperature that popped up of the roaster. Um, these settings right here, the, the roaster sets, uh, basically an SV means set value. So what set value does is it it tells you tells the roaster the maximum amount of value for heat that it can go. All right, then these buttons you can control your heat, your air. This will tell you what, what your internal temperature is and your bean temp. I usually don't go much by the beat the ET. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I go by bean temperature. Tracking your bean temp is exactly knowing where your beans are, are landing in the terms of the, the heat value and how much, uh, what, what you want to drop at. For light roasts, a good temperature is like 195, 200 Celsius. Now I go by Celsius. I go by Celsius. Sorry, I stopped the camera because I had to cough. Um, you can make it go by uh, Fahrenheit. I just am so used to Celsius, I don't worry about it. Right now, our roaster is at 24 BT Celsius. I'll show you where the, the probes are. Here's the probe for the bean temp. It goes right in there into the bean mass. The external one is on the back. Okay, since I hit on, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to start heating the roaster up. 
preheats good 20 minutes at least. We'll turn the heat up to uh, to 100. We're gonna turn our gum on. You can see, you can hear it going. Now, since we are going to set our value, I'm gonna go ahead and set my value at to say. <coughs> I'm so sorry for the coughing. To 187 is it's usually where I land. You, you just play around with it. I'm going to hit the PID on so that it starts heating the roaster. <clears throat> and you can see that it's on. Now, this roaster does 200 grams, but always remember that you can just continue on and do back-to-back -back roasts. So if you do 200 grams, you could do, I usually go 175. So you could do three roasts and get plenty of, bean, plenty of beans roasted for what you want. Um, this is a fruit bomb, bomb blend. I will send this roast along with the roaster. So I'm, I'm just calculating 175. Right now the roaster is preheating still. Okay, right, it's at 194 Celsius. I have my heat turned up to 100. I usually keep my air around 20. I set my value at 187. So what's gonna happen here is, it's not gonna go above 187 because that's what I set the value at. Now. When you roast, you really need to change that value once you drop your beans, or excuse me, charge your beans, the term is charge, uh, is to turn up that set value or your roast will not go above 187 and you'll crash. Pretty simple, um, pretty simple thing to remember, but there is also some reminders set in alarms that will automatically do that for you. I'll show that to you. Actually, I can show it to you right now. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna configure under alarms, okay? What, it, what it'll do is these alarms will automatically trigger the heat setting when I drop my when I, excuse me, charge my beans and where I want my heat to setting to be. And also uh, I want it to automatically increase once my um, beans reach a certain temp to go to 230. You're not gonna roast your beans up to 230. You just don't want to stop at 187. One of the uh, couple of things I did while I was off screen is I inserted the roast that we are uh, going to do. I, I have everything set up in Artisan Plus because I have so many beans. Um, I don't do this for a living. I just have a big hobby. So I just, this is what we're roasting. My weight is right here. So I hit OK. I also set up a background so I can have something that will I can follow pretty easy. Okay, so what I did is I hit background and I hit load. And these are all the uh, artisan logs that I have done over whatever, however long it was. And you can see that we're doing the fruit bomb, uh, is it the fruit bomb blend? Yes, fruit bomb blend. Mm -hmm. So I click that, it's already loaded, okay? And I hit okay. And what it is, is the grid is there. It has the, the guide to where I can just follow it. So I don't have to uh, go in blindly. Okay, so we are pretty much at our drop temp, or 
I keep saying drop, I apologize. Um, our charge temp. What I've done also is on the, the M1, it uses PID heating. And what that is, is that turns on your heat function and, and goes off of the temp. Now my, uh, the M6, which is right there, doesn't use PID heating. I can use PID heating on my M6, but it just pops my breaker, so I have to manually heat, heat use heat settings for the M6. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to now hit start, and you will see this charge button will uh, start blinking, all right? So I'm going to charge my beans in the chute. Can't do this with two hands. One second. Okay, here we go. So right now, everything is going. My settings are right now I've got 80 for my heat, 230 for my set value. Looks like I had a little bleep right there, but um, it's recovering. Uh, BTEP right now is 133 usually. When it reaches around 148, it's, it's the dry end. Okay, so there's the beans. Right there, I usually go by smell when it comes to when it comes to checking to see if it's hit the dry end. Usually, they smell kind of a little bit uh, grassy. Right now, they still st still feel, smell a little bit fresh. I marked the dry end at about 149. Um, right now, I'm at about 161. And you can see that I could start, I usually start dropping my temps to try to get this ROR to go down, but it looks like it's chugging along pretty good. I did increase my airspeed to 40. That brings, that pushes more heat or more air and, and warmth through the, through the beans. Um, it's so much it's so easy just to follow this grid you can see when I when I actually dropped my beans it was at 201 which is really good for this fruit bomb blend you can see the beans are starting to get a little bit brown Turn this upside down and pop that in. Right now the temp's 189, so you're gonna start hearing, you should be hearing a first crack here coming soon. I did hear one pop. It might be really, really quiet on this particular beam. There you go, I got a snap. Now I can hear them. It's very faint on this particular one, but I'm gonna mark my first crack. One ninety-six. Usually, first crack happens a lot lower, but I do have my heat turned down. Now you can really hear it popping. I'm getting close to the temp I want to drop it at. I actually will drop them right now because I like a lighter roast. So I'm going to mark drop. Drop. And then I'm going to cool it on. Cooling starts automatically. I am 
I'm going to put them in the external cooler. So they cool a lot quicker. Dropped at 205, but they're still going to be really good. You can see how perfect this roast is. And it's going to be fabulous. If you like fruity roast, this is the one. One of the things I do is I weigh my beans before and I weigh them after. So right now we're at 151 and 0.5. So I'll go in here and I'll. I'll enter my end weight and hopefully we'll be around 13 percent one five one point five yep 13.4 that's a perfect city plus roast and then it'll tell you all of, all the details right here. We started 175, 13.4%. Um, and that should do this demo, except for a couple things. Um, in here is the drawer, the chaff drawer. So just make sure after every roast you empty it because you don't want that chaff drawer to have anything in it when you do your next roast or it will catch fire. Another thing that you gotta make sure you do is I'm gonna reset this roast. It might want you to save it, but I'm not gonna save this because I already have it. Um, is uh, turn it on back on and what I'll do once it's turned back on is I want to cool the roaster down I want it down to say um, 50 Celsius if not less so I'll make sure I turn you I leave the drum on I'm going to turn the air up And my heat is off. And then once that goes cools down to temp, I can go ahead and turn off the roaster. Uh, I have my SVI. You got to turn your SV way down, or it's gonna try to bring the temper temperature up to. So I got it down set to 50. And once that's cooled down, I'll shut everything down, and I'm done. Hope this video is helpful to show you the, how the roaster works.